um, that was awesome. I mean, that was uh, that was everything we expected it to be. Um, the crowd, the atmosphere, uh, and how good Maryland was. Uh, we really struggled for for a better part of the better part of the game, um, first half especially, and then uh, second half we started to pick it up a little bit. And then they come out with two goals there to end the end the third quarter, and we're down 10-6 again. So. <clears throat> We've been talking all year with our team and these last couple of days, especially about the character in our locker room <coughs> and our ability to come back. We did it last week against Cornell. TD got us the ball every time and we scored four goals in two minutes. And we said at halftime, we're never out of it. We're not out of the game. Not with our offense, not with TD facing off, not with JD and the goal on our defense. So I couldn't be more proud of our effort today. Uh, 5 nothing fourth quarter against what I think is the best team in the country. Um, I gotta hand it to my my coaches, uh, Ian Gleason, Derek Thompson, Derek Eccles, and, uh, and the boys in the locker room. Just uh, just an unbelievable day for us. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Thank you. Let's do a question for student athletes first. TD, uh, you know, you've been dominating so much this week or this year. How'd you find Shockey as an opponent? Were you surprised or were you expecting it? Um, watching film and stuff, I knew uh, uh, Justin was going to be really good. Uh, I went against him, I think, like two or three years ago at a summer tournament. and. Uh, Watching film, I mean, he's very technically sound. He's very level-headed, which is a, a really big key as a freshman that you don't see a lot. I mean, he doesn't really get frazzled or anything. And, uh, I mean, he was, on, he was very good. Uh, he, um, I thought it was, I knew it was going to be a battle. I, my wings did a really good job. Their wings are really good, too. So it was just a good battle overall. So, I mean, he was probably as good as I expected he would be. D, what help do you figure it out in that fourth quarter? Um, honestly, just my teammates getting behind me. They're like, we got a lot of time, and my wings, uh, they did a great job giving me space and um, contesting those ground balls when they were 50-50s. And I mean, early in the game, we just weren't coming up with those 50-50s, and a lot of that was on me, um, putting it to spots where we weren't going to be successful. And my wings did a great job giving me space, and we just all, uh, we all were just positive the whole time and just never gave up. Connor, to not only beat the defending national champion on their home field, but to do it like that, that was the magnitude of this one for the game. I mean, it's huge for us, um, for our confidence, um, coming back to, uh, to a team like this, defending champs, and coming back by four goals in the fourth quarter. Um, I think it says a lot about our team and a lot about um, how we face adversity. Um, I mean, we knew we were gonna, we we're gonna have to, uh, we we're gonna have to uh, like face the adversity sooner or later in the game, and we knew that, and uh, that happened. We all have to stick together, and, uh, and I can't say enough great things about Coach Mar. He, he keeps us in it. He keeps us positive. Stay, he keeps our mentality the same throughout the whole game, and. I think that's what really helped us out. Connor, what changed in the second half, especially the fourth quarter offensively, that allowed you guys to have so much success in the fourth quarter? Um, I mean, we were we were out, we were out there uh, just, just playing, just playing together as a unit, and uh, <coughs> I feel like in the first three quarters we, we were getting chances. We just weren't we were just weren't capitalizing on our opportunities, and um, we were forcing a couple things here and there. And we think in the fourth quarter it just started to started to click a little more for us, and uh, we, were, we were playing with confidence. We obviously had some momentum going, so we were just we were just trying to keep it going. Connor, what is it about the fourth quarter in this team where when you guys have your backs against the wall, it's almost the time that you guys are the most loose? I, it, again, Coach Mar, um, he, he just never gets down on us. He never never comes in and yells at us. Halftime he came in, all positive. Um, come on, like keep it going, keep it going, keep pushing. It's gonna it's gonna come. It's gonna happen. And we, we just stayed positive out there, and that's, that's how we felt. We, were, we felt positive, we were confident out there, and we felt uh, we said to stay positive with each other and uh, stick together, and, and we could pull up that win. Connor, you against uh, Corley, that seemed like a game-long grind. I mean, take, take us inside that matchup and what that was like physically to go 60 minutes against him. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's definitely uh, physically exhausting. Uh, he's, uh, he's a great defender. He's a big, very big kid, um, very strong. He's great, great defender, great with his angles too. So I mean, it was definitely a tough matchup. Um, definitely, uh, my teammates helped helped out a lot there, taking a lot of the pressure off me. I didn't, I didn't need to carry the ball as much, and, and when I did have the ball, they're they're moving, they're cutting, they're setting picks and stuff like that. So I feel like um, it was definitely it was definitely uh, he's a great 
great defender. I have no good things to say about him. Jacob, what fell your way today? Four goals for you, and you know that wasn't the focus. Obviously, it was Connor and uh, uh, Nan Nana Coke. It fell your way today with four goals. Yeah, I think uh, just finding my role in the team. I know I, I just I'm gonna play off the guys a little bit. Get the four Dodgers going. Like coach, it's honestly coach having trust with me, and, and my teammates having trust in me, and that's why I think. Uh, I was able to score. Today. Has Coach been pushing you to be more offensive minded or shooting minded? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I would say he's he plenty <laughs> offensive minded. <laughs> that's all I play. So. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, I think Coach Mar, Coach Thompson, Coach Gleason always had the confidence in me to give me the ball and they think I'm going to score, which that helps me out of, like tremendous. Was it part of the game plan to invert? The way you did, particularly in the fourth quarter? Oh, uh, yeah, going into the week, we knew we got our shots going into an invert offense and with uh, me and Cobb Clancy. And um, the coaches that making us all a game plan, we executed, went out there and executed uh, very well. Okay, do you guys made a point this week of kind of putting last year behind you, you know, the two games really didn't matter. But I mean, now that you won this game, was there a little bit of extra satisfaction that they have to be anything that ended the season last year? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I think it's just another one. No, just. Getting this win, I think we're like five and zero now, so it's good to get another win. And we just gotta Monday practice and keep working hard. You know, this is just one win. Connor and Jacob, was there a moment in that fourth quarter or sooner that you started to feel the momentum um, shift in your favor? And what is it about this Maryland defense that kind of you had to adjust to in the first few quarters of this game? Um, I mean, I feel like um, yeah, we were, we were playing hard. We, the shots just weren't falling. And then um, I forget who got us going in the, in the fourth, but we got a goal. And then, uh, I mean, TD, TD went six for six in the fourth quarter, which definitely helps out. It's kind of like a make and take. We score, we can get it back. And uh, I feel like that helped a lot with that, with the, the momentum growing. Um, our fan base here, I mean, they travel well, and, and they're loud, and they kept us, kept us into it for sure. And uh, we can't uh, thank them enough. And, I mean, just offensively, we just started clicking, uh, started hitting our shots, and we were playing together really well. TD, J JD says this is an another win. The two of you guys have had to talk a lot about that game last May. Do you agree, is this another win or is it more than that? Um, I mean, I think it's just another win against a really good team. I mean, they're loaded top to bottom, so anytime you can get a win, especially on the road here, uh, we'll take it. Scott, what did you talk to your team about at halftime? You guys run with them, Joe? You guys down with them? I'll stay here for the I, I just have one more quick one for Connor. Um, your thoughts on what kind of change? Was there anything on the sideline? I mean, you said there's new energy in that fourth quarter, but was there anything specific that happened that stood out to you? Uh, yeah, definitely not just our pace of play. Um, we felt like mm -hmm. we were slowing it down in, in uh, second and third quarter. <laughs> so uh, we got to be just trying to play fast, trying to play Albany style. And we, yeah, we, just, we were getting right into the offenses, and we were thinking we were catching Maryland a little off guard with some of the things we were throwing at them. Which, uh, which definitely helped out. Connor, you guys have been kind of all business all week long. Uh, and Coach said to us, he wanted you to enjoy it. Enjoy this moment. It's one versus two. Did you guys enjoy this? Yeah, oh, for sure. Um, we, all, we were all out there, smiles on our faces. Oh, you, 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 this is why you come to a school like this, to play, to play against the, the top teams. And um, uh, we, we knew that we had our hands full in the game, but we knew that uh, we kept, kept pushing along. Uh, so we could, we could uh, come out on top of this one. That's okay. Okay, you guys are good. I felt like Maryland was playing a lot of energy. Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> all this way, and that's how I get treated. The message at halftime was definitely um, that there's no panic, that we have to believe in each other. Um, you know, we talked about the character of our team and just this team, not last year's team, nobody else, just this year's team, this year's, the character of this team. Um, to come in with the expectations, to be ranked number one, to play Cornell in the first game number one, to be losing, to come back and beat them. Um, you know, we said at halftime, we know we can come back if we have to. Um, we know that TD can get us the ball and we know we can score quickly. Um, but the two biggest messages was we have to pick up the ground balls because we're getting hammered at halftime. Um, <clears throat> and we have to shoot better. I thought in the first quarter we had plenty of opportunities. We shot the ball poorly. Um, I don't know if you made saves. I think we missed the goal a couple times. It just was, we just didn't shoot very well. So, <clears throat> you know, we just had to stick with our game plan. You know, and, and uh, again, I think the biggest thing in that fourth quarter, and I said to Connor when you guys asked him that, 
our pace picked up. You know, um, Maryland is a great team. They're obviously defending national champions. John does an unbelievable job of coaching his team, but they play a lot slower than we do. And sometimes you can get lulled into that mode. And I thought we got lulled into a little bit of walking around, not running fast. And I thought in the fourth quarter, my biggest message was pace. Pick up the pace. Let's go and start attacking. You know, let's start getting the game going a little bit faster. And, and I thought we did a great job of that. Was this personally, does it mean something to you to come back there and win on this field where you've coached? And Absolutely. Absolutely. It feels awesome. I spent six great years here. Um, yeah. The boys gave me a game ball. Absolutely. When's the, last, when's the last time you got a game ball? Uh, I think my 150th win. Coach, any, th any adjustments in the fourth quarter defensively because you shut Maryland out? And they did have the ball. They did, and I thought we did a great job. I thought J.D. made saves, uh, made some good saves. Um, I thought Stone Sims, after the first time that Bernard scored the beginning of the game after that, I thought really he controlled uh, he controlled him. I thought Eric Dillewey, you know, Connor was, we knew Connor was going to get his points. We said if we can keep Connor Kelly from at a maximum of five points, and that's what he ended up having, I think we have a shot. And, uh, and, he, and he did. I thought that Eric did a nice job on him. But uh, I thought I thought we got more aggressive, and I thought we played with a lot more purpose. You know, again with the ball on the ground, we came up with it. You know, we got some turnovers. Um, so and again, JD made saves when he had to. Is this game now a yearly thing? Have you talked with Tillman about that? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, it's this is the third of the series, so you know he's he's due to come up to us next year. So I hope we keep it going. I think it's a great game. So I hope it happens. Coach, you kind of laughed every time your players said, "Oh, it's just another game and just another win." You don't really feel like that, do you? Uh, I, I, it's not. You, 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 you know, um, no offense to other teams around the country, but when you beat a team like Maryland, who's again defending national champs, last year we beat North Carolina defending national champs. Those are huge wins. I mean, those are great, uh, great confidence builders for your team. And and uh, you know, we try to keep, we can coach them up and talk to the press about it. it's not that big of a deal, but you know. It is a big deal. You just beat a really, really good team. Uh, like I said, I think they're the best team in the country, and I think we, you know, we did a nice job in that, in that, in that second half of coming back and, and winning. What about the NCAA tournament implications? Presuming that in the distance, that's a factor. Is that something that you allowed under your mind? Um, I, you know, again, when you have, uh, you know, your schedule is what it is. You know, um, you know, right now we have two top five wins, so I mean, that's that's great for us going into the tournament. We've never really had that before. Um, you know, again, we have to continue to win. We got to win next week against Vermont. You know, so, um, but but if it does work out that we continue to play the way we've been playing and, and win a lot of games, then yeah, it'll, it'll have implications for us to be, you know, a higher seed than eight where we were last year and playing the defending national champions. You know, um, so hopefully, uh, again, we need to we need to concentrate right now on getting ready for Vermont. They're six and zero. Oh, uh, they're playing with a lot of confidence. They're in our conference. Um, you know, and we want to make sure that we're ready, we're ready to play them. Ian McKay is an outstanding player. Uh, love to have him on my team. Uh, so, you know, we, we got to be ready for them. Good.